update on that story, Jeff. Sure. And there are new developments in the case of missing Alabama teen Natalie Holloway. A Dutch journalist says he has brand new information that could actually solve this case. A secret tape that allegedly implicates Jan van der Sloot, one of the last people seen with Natalie. And he plans to share that tape with the world in just a few hours. Our legal panel tonight is going to help us sort through all the details. We're joined by Prosecutor Paul Henderson, criminal defense attorney Courtney Anderson, and former Interpol agent Dr. Britt Minchel. Thanks for joining me. We've got a lot to discuss this night. Um, let's talk first about the details of the case and let's take a look. The search for Alabama teen Natalie Holloway. It's baffled investigators and kept the nation riveted. May 24th, 2005, 18-year-old Natalie Holloway graduates from her Alabama high school. Nothing but hope for the future and the whole world ahead of her. She and her classmates go on an annual senior vacation to sunny Aruba. On the last night of the trip, Natalie and her friends spend the night partying at local hotspot Carlos and Charlie's. Then, tragedy strikes. Natalie's friends see her get into a car outside of the nightclub, and she is never seen again. And her family and friends still don't have any answers. Joining us on the phone with the very latest from Aruba is journalist Jossie Mansour. Jossie, you always know the details and you're always right about what's going on there. So what can you tell us? So many people at home have seen this family suffer. Is this the real deal? Are they going to be able to nail Joran van der Sloot with this new information? Well, the only thing I can give you on that is an opinion. I don't know because we haven't seen the tape yet. Until we see what's on the tape, then we can make a, a, a more serious uh, judgment as to, to how valuable it is. The prosecution seems to believe it is very valuable because on the basis of that, they sent a petition for the arrest of uh, Jordan van der Slo to Holland. It's sitting now on the table of a judge of instruction who has to make a decision within hours. Now, Jossie, Joe Tacopina was on earlier with uh, Geraldo and I, and he said, look, the prosecutor and the judge, they've had this tape now for a week, and still Joran isn't under arrest. Why the delay if the tape is that compelling? Why are they waiting so long? Well, that's very hard for me to answer, but what I can say is that uh, in, in another interview, Joran said that he did talk to this man, but that he was lying again. Now, by saying that, what he's doing is confirming that that tape is legitimate, that the conversation took place, the admission is there, that he did say that he is, that he was involved in the disappearance of Natalie, and also that he and a friend, aided by a friend, threw the body in the ocean. That's on the tape. Some of the statements that are alleged to have been made in this tape, and again, yes, we all need to hear the actual full tape in terms of the content. I do think you're right in terms of the fact that he seems to be authenticating the veracity of this tape by saying, yes, that's me, but oh, I wasn't telling the truth. I was just confessing to having something to do with her death and disappearance because it just seemed like the right thing to do. I mean, it just makes no sense if he didn't have something to do with it that he would make these statements, Jossie. But of course, uh, we believe it, it is a true statement. Uh, Mr. De Vries, the man who did the uh, undercover camera operation, is convinced of it. The prosecution in Aruba is convinced of it, as they would not be moving on the basis of what's on that tape. Well, they're going to be able to use that tape because Aruba is a one-party consent in terms of the tape recording, so it will be admissible evidence in court, and now they need to corroborate it. Jossie Mansour, as always, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.